Star Wars only, I don't know what the fuck your problem is. Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker teaser trailer was released the other day. I was actually there at the panel, and it was really, it was a great experience, but I'll talk more about that in another video. And the opening part of the trailer, the opening shot, is Rey in the desert again, and she's, and she's breathing heavily, like she did in The Last Jedi, uh, the trailer for that one. And I think Finn was the one breathing heavily in the Force Awakens teaser trailer. And the name, The Rise of Skywalker, it also has uh, the at the beginning of every single sequel movie has the as the first word. That's kind of interesting. The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, The Rise of Skywalker. And I thought that was interesting as well. So this opening shot is Rey li listening to Luke, basically. Luke is talking to her saying, you know, a thousand generations have passed on to you. Uh, this is your fight and everything. I, I, was, I was kind of surprised that I, I think she's basically a full-fledged Jedi now because yet again she still doesn't have training and that, that still kind of perplexes me but anywho the shot of the TIE fighter coming at her she gets the lightsaber out activates it turns around and starts running and then does this amazing backflip that entire shot was beautiful I, I can't wait to see that live and the music they have going on at that time and basically what's going on there because I don't think the TIE fighter is attacking her the, the tie fighter is a um, kylo ren i believe or whatever it's called the tie silencer i'm not familiar with all the ship names but anywho kylo ren is in it i assume he's coming at her and she's doing the backflip i think she's going to land on top of it and kind of you know reminiscence of what vader did in rebels coming down on ezra and again it's like poetry so if they rhyme then you see one of the ships going to the planet i'm not sure what planet this is one interesting thing people are noticing is that it looks like the exact same ship that was in episode seven the force awakens when Rey was having her flashback dream, her parents, soon that was her parents who were leaving her, that, that's the same ship. So that was kind of interesting seeing that. Then you see Kylo Ren, honestly being a badass, going through a forest, it's all really red. It doesn't look like he's fighting a resistance trooper. Some people are saying it looks like he's fighting the Knights of Ren kind of storm troopers or something like that. Now I'm not sure how accurate that is at all, but still there's a lot of interest in that. And I, I just like that shot in general, him taking the guy down, putting, his, putting the side of his blade into him. That was a pretty cool. I'm excited to see that scene and action like that. And you also have the shot of him rebuilding his helmet, which I thought was kind of funny because, you know, he destroyed it in episode eight and it's like, all right, well, he's bringing it back now and then literally just kind of gluing it back together. And uh, it's interesting to see him put that back on. BB-8's got his own little sidekick now. That was interesting to see. I think he's a cute little guy. He came out on the episode nine panel and he looked really cool. He kind of looks exactly like the one from uh, the Jedi Fallen Order trailer, if you remember that, if you saw that as well. And the next scene is kind of reminiscent of Empire with Lando and Chewie flying the Falcon and Lando's laughing. That was really nice to see. I've wanted to see Lando this entire trilogy. We've all wondered where he was. I, I really wish he would have been back in the seventh film, or even the eighth. Uh, he probably could have replaced uh, Benicio Del Toro's character in Episode Eight, and I would have been fine with that. But it's nice to see him back in the Millennium Falcon chair, and laughing. I thought that was a really nice uh, scene. And, and the words they say are also reminiscent of episode one, where it's, you know, every saga has a beginning, and, you know, this one's about the, you know, the saga comes to an end. Again, it's like poetry, so if they rhyme. Speaking of poetry rhyming, it looks like they're doing a pod race scene in another desert planet. It reminds me of episode one of Phantom Menace as well. They're being chased by First Order troopers, and you see Poe and Finn and C-3PO, uh, an X-Wing gets shot down, it looks like Leia's um, touching the medallion, uh, the gold medal that Han or Luke received. The next scene's Carrie Fisher passed away in 2016. Her character Leia, Leia is hugging Rey, so that was pretty emotional for a lot of people. And then this next one is where it really gets interesting. This is where I really start enjoying the trailer and getting interested in the movie. You have Chewbacca, BB-8, BB-8's little sidekick, C-3PO, Rey, Poe, and Finn all walking up to the Death Star. It, it, the ruins of the Death Star. It looks like the second Death Star. And, you know, Luke's saying, you know, no one's ever really gone. It's just so intriguing. And it reminds me of the Force Awakens concept art where they were going into Palpatine's, I, I think, throne room to retrieve the map to Luke Skywalker or something like that. That was cool. From the back, it seems like Rey has a Jedi Knight kind of hood going on. So I really do think she's a Jedi in this film. And that's interesting because that's... A, I mean, Luke wasn't even a Jedi in Episode 6 until the end, until he defeated his father. And then you hear the laugh. You hear the laugh of the Emperor. That was mind-blowing. I, I, I heard that laugh and I went, oh my god, are you kidding me? And then I'll, I'll share the clip right here. 
in the panel for episode nine, Ian McDermott came out and he said, "Roll it again." But before he before he even said that, I, I was recording the panel and I saw him come out and I you can hear me say, "I was like, oh fuck." Hearing his laugh and knowing that he was going to be in episode 9, that alone was shocking for everybody. Then seeing him come out and saying, it, saying, roll it again. Roll it again. Amazing. That, that was a great moment. I, you, I, it was one of those things where you really had to be there. And then the title was released, The, the Rise of Skywalker. And you have a lot of questions coming out of that. I have a few myself, and I have some concerns. I'm excited to see the Emperor come back, because to me it does make sense the fact that he is the overarching villain for the Skywalkers, for the for, for the entire saga in general, the Skywalker saga. He's always been the main villain. In the original trilogy, he was the one that controlled Vader. In the prequel trilogy, he was the one who controlled everything. He controlled the Republic, he controlled the Separatists, working behind the scenes. And don't forget, you know, it's... For me, my concern with him coming back would be it may diminish what happened in the original trilogy, Luke's arc, Luke's battle against the Emperor and against the dark side. But anyways, Emperor Palpatine coming back, he could be the main villain, but it's hard to believe that he'd come back in physical form. But there's a lot of interesting stuff in canon that alludes to the fact that he knows a lot of stuff about the dark side that we don't, about the Force that we don't. In the canon books that we have now in like the Aftermath trilogy, he went out looking for stuff in the Unknown Regions. He's concerned about something out there in the Unknown Regions, and he had the Empire that was destroyed basically get together on Jakku and fly out to the Unknown Regions and kind of regroup and become the First Order, it seems. Where does Snoke fit in all this is a huge question. Was Snoke just another puppet of Palpatine? That makes sense. You would, If you argue that they're trying to erase what The Last Jedi did, and I, I don't think that's the case here entirely, this would seem like a decent way to do it, of being like, oh, okay, well, Snoke died, yes, but that doesn't matter because Palpatine's the one in charge. But they also could just be teasing us, and Palpatine not even being the movie. He could just be a dark side ghost. He could just be a, a hologram. Kathleen Kennedy has confirmed that he is in the movie, but we don't know too much about it yet. Of course, we all want to know more about it. Another question is the rise of Skywalker. That name really catches my attention because if you remember... In the past, we've talked about this a lot on the channel, is that I've wondered what they're going to do with the Jedi Order after Episode Eight. Episode Eight was kind of definitely saying, hey, the Jedi are no more. Luke said at the end, though, the Jedi are still going on in Rey, and I assume Rey is a Jedi. But like I said, you know, she hasn't, she's, she hasn't done Jedi training. She hasn't done any of that. So it doesn't really make much sense. Yeah, she has the books, but even Daisy Ridley said in the panel that she hasn't read all the books yet. She's, you know, kind of getting into it, I believe. So if they're getting rid of the name Jedi and the Peacekeepers of the Galaxy turn into Skywalkers, like just Skywalkers in general, that could be an interesting idea. I'm not the biggest fan of it, just being Skywalker, but in a way it, it would make sense. Leaving the legacy of the Skywalkers, I, I can't be too mad at it. The question also could be, would it be Rey or maybe even Kylo Ren being the Skywalker? Or maybe even Luke. Well, you know, Luke comes back and he rises up again. That, that doesn't make sense to me, but that's another theory people are having out there. Do you think Colin Trevorrow, the the director originally for Episode Nine, would have had Palpatine in it? Do you think he would have brought Palpatine in? Uh, maybe that was the uh, creative difference that they had. I really wonder what Colin Trevorrow would have done with Darth Sidious and how he would have brought that character into Episode Nine, or if he would have used the character. It's just an interesting food for thought, in my opinion. But tell me your thoughts below. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Give me your opinions on it. Did you like the trailer? Did you not? I'm Star Wars Only. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you all next time, and may the Force be with you, always.